Being a pilot is the best occupation a person can have in the entire world. How do you know when there's a pilot in the room? You walk into a crowded area, a bunch of people around, how do you know there's a crowd pilot in the room? They would eventually tell you. You know, that's just a classic joke because being, when one becomes a pilot, they love to tell other folks about it. Especially when, you know, we are usually always told to not to boast about our, about, about our achievement, we just be able to stay humble. But as for me, I've been a pilot for the, within about for the last year. Um, and after years of training and thousands of dollars spent, like the world has to know, right? The world has to know. So I'm here today to tell you why being a pilot is the best occupation for a person to have for three reasons. First, from the very beginning of, from the very beginning of anyone pilot, uh, piloting career, it's hands-on from the very, from the very, your first lesson is in the plane with your instructor, right? Second, the financial benefits that come with becoming a professional aviator, become, becoming an airline pilot, right? And third, the social prestige, which honestly, for some folks who like the boast is actually the best part, the social prestige that come with being an airline pilot, right? And well, unlike many other high status occupations, being a pilot requires you to gain experience from the very beginning. It requires a lot more uh, experience than schooling. Like, for example, like being a doctor and a lawyer, right? Now, I'm not, not, let me not take away any type of incredible, what an incredible achievement if we want to become a doctor and a lawyer. But in reality, when, when you choose to go that direction, when you choose to become a doctor, when do you actually get some real hands-on experience, right? Because those are very risk, those are very high status jobs, just like getting to be a pilot, right? But when a doctor, you know, you guys go to school for four to eight years before you actually get the opportunity to save a life. You know, require after like, you gotta go to school for uh, four years of regular schooling, compare, uh, and then another four years of med school, medical school, and then so on. So it could take years, decades. With a lawyer, you gotta go to school for four years, go to law school, add on to that more money spent, and along with one of the most difficult tests you have to take as a lawyer, the bar exam, so you actually become, become certified to become a lawyer. Now. When one gets to that state, that's an incredible achievement. In comparison to a pilot, you start flying from day one, and you require only four years of schooling, just like everybody else. And at that point, like you are just you're just strictly flying because when you're done, all it really requires is you experience, 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 flying hours, flying hours, and flying hours. You know, in transition from that, from being a pilot, you now that you know about the hands-on experience, let me tell you about what the financial benefits are of becoming a pilot. You know, now it's not, I like to think that it's not all about the money. A person should love what they do, but let's be realistic. Like when you become a pilot, being a pilot, being a professional airline pilot is amongst one of the best paying occupations that a regular person could just have. You know what I mean? Because after regular schooling, like, like for, God bless, after four years of college and a thousand hours, according to eight, uh, the ATP flight school, the official uh, website where most people, need, most pilots need to go on to get their uh, airline pilot's license, um, the average first officer, like first year pilot, very new to the commercial aviation side, makes an average about eighty-five thousand dollars a year, right? And that's a lot of that's a lot of money for someone just out of college with very little life experience compared to everybody else, you know. And that's just the financial benefits of it, and with some other stuff like uh, pilots. When you're a pilot, you along with your family, man, you guys you guys are, have the option. Uh, you along with your family have the option to pretty much fly wherever you want, whenever, for free. Because pilots have that benefit, that's just like uh, the benefit of being that pilot, like just for like whatever company, with, when you're with your Delta, American, United, all the, the big name airlines, it doesn't matter, right? Because those guys fly internationally. So you can go on, that's just that you wanna go on vacation, that's one thing you don't have to worry about is airline fees. Because you guys all hop in on that plane for free. And I always have a lot of folks, a lot of my family members, when I go back home, they tell me, hey, when are you gonna hook me up hook me up with the airline uh, free free flying tickets. I always is a joke, but like, they know. Like they know, like they understand that pilots do get that benefits, which is something that's incredibly nice for a lot of folks. And that's just, that's just another thing. Now that you know about the financial benefits of becoming a pilot, let me tell you about the social, the social prestige that comes with being a pilot. Because we all know, like the world looks up to people for those in power. They see them as leaders, People with power, people with, you know, they look up to those kind of people, right? They put them on a high social pedestal. And pilots are just that, because for one, even the pilot uniform, right, is just like a, you know, is a look of authority. 
and that makes just about anybody just looking in a position of power, right? And as for me, whenever I meet whenever I meet somebody, I find it very difficult not to mention to them that I'm a pilot, you know, because it always starts a really great conversation because they always think, oh my goodness, that's a really cool thing, right? And along with that, people just tend to respect you as a pilot because you have a lot of responsibilities. When you're up there flying at 35,000 feet in the sky and you have 100, 200 people you have to worry about in the back, you're, you're in charge of a lot of lives. That's a huge responsibility. And people respect people for that because they know they are, they can trust them for that kind of stuff, right? And lastly, like, it is every children, and it is a lot of children's dream to become an airline pilot, to be able to say they can want to be able to, like an astronaut, a pilot, then that's, that's all up there for a lot of children, you know? And pilots have, once you become a pilot, you have the ability to inspire other people, to inspire little children, tell them like, you know, like this, life isn't easy, but like you have this goal, you show them what it's like, to, you show them what being a pilot is like, and they fall in love with that kind of look, you know? And they have something to strive for. Tell them about how, uh, Hard work is gonna get them through life. Hard work is gonna achieve them through a lot of things. All you gotta do is just be able to stick with that game plan, you know? So I'll leave you with this. Being an airline pilot is the coolest occupation a person could have. Because for one, from the right from the beginning, the hands-on experience, the real life experience you get to actually feel is like to be a real pilot, right? And secondly, the financial benefit of being a, of being a pilot. Pilots get paid as well some of the best occupations on earth. And lastly, the social prestige that comes with being an airline pilot, right? And that's why you probably be a little bit more patient with your pilot friends next time you're trying to talk to them and talk, trying to talk to you about planes because they can't help it. You know, they feel, they feel great about themselves, right? And because like, how would you know, how do you know when there's a pilot in the room? They will eventually tell you.